Good morning and welcome to third session of my spring summer campaign on the Club Lake. So I got down 5.30, quick scan round and I'm back in the, the, the shallower side. This side does better in the morning. The sun comes up from over the far bank so it always does better. Shallower water, high pressure. The only fish I saw a show was in the adjacent swim, which is only 50, 10 yards away, and it was right in front of the swim. So I've got I've got a bait not not far from that because my left margin goes that way. <coughs> so I've already baited pole. That was a show. That was another show. It's definitely active. I've already baited pole both both rods out. Left rod, like I say, is in front of them reeds, sort of halfway between me and the next rod. And that's on a snowman rig. Grugs, krill bottom bait, and a PLB pop-up as a topper. Of course, it's on a slip D with my ever, ever faithful, uh, incredible tackle, tomahawk hook. And the right rod is just to the right side, in front of where the early beds are starting to come up. Again, it's even shallower there. It's, it's three, three and a half foot deep. So I've got one there and that's on a, a spinner. Tomahawk hook again with a Esther Berry pop up. So I think that's it for now. Thanks for joining me. Please like and subscribe as it does help me grow the channel. And you don't miss any videos going forward, but any updates. I will let you know. Again, thanks for joining me. Absolutely love this time of year. Everything is just waking up. The, the lake is just, it's just coming alive. Small fish, the birds, I mean, yeah, the birds thing in the trees, that's great. I can see a few line bites just over one of my left hand rods. So I am, I am hopeful of getting a fish on the line. But, yeah, all this time of year. It's very magical. My third 20 pounder, but I think this is going to be a lively one, so let's see if I can get it up. Around eight ounces gone, so absolutely buzzing. Like I said, it was probably one of the best fights I've ever had for my carp. Took ages, didn't think I was gonna get it at one point. Well, there we go. Anyway, we left Rod just out of line, so I better get this back. So, just reflecting on that catch, yeah, it's uh, I spent most of last year. Well, spent the first six months of last year blanking on, on here, just learning how to catch. And uh, being consistent once I started catching, once I kind of worked out the water a bit, worked out where's good, what time of day, my catches started to go up. But to be this early in the season and catch my first 20, yeah, buzzing with that. Uh, it was just on the right hand rod, which was in the front of the upcoming lilies you can't quite see them yet you can see a few under the surface but they're not breaking the surface yet and it was caught on a rally uh, gemini boom uh, incredible tackle 
Tomahawk size 6 with the incredible tackle bait screw and uh, hook stop and the incredible baits Esterberry pop up which smell insane I mean they are you could eat them yourself I'm not going to but you could do <laughs> so yeah so rods are back out I've never had more than one carp in a session but I only fish short, short sessions so if we can catch another one that's a great bonus but uh so far I'm loving it any more updates I will let you know end of the session. No more fish. Just had a, a line on the right hand rod which made me think I stay a bit longer but no I, I plan to pack up at one time so rods are currently on the deck everything else is packed away. You can start bringing these rods in but um, just like to say thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe it helps helps the channel grow. And I'll uh, wish you tight lines and see you on the next one. Last rod. Just willing it just for that last run. Just for one more fish. No. This is it. I'm bringing it in. See you next time.